Hi everybody, Timothy here. I greet you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Today we're taking a quick look at the Faux Spring Reverb from Wampler Pedals. From right to left we have our first at guitar, which we're running into. And then we also have our Faux Spring Reverb, that's the first pedal in line. Followed up is our Fly Rig 5 from Tech 21, and it is currently turned off. Our amplifier is the Fender Mustang 1. And that is our clean tone without any reverb or any pedals turned on. We'll go ahead and put everything here at the noon o'clock. Noon o'clock. Wow, listen to me. We'll go ahead and put everything at 12 o'clock. There we go, if my tongue can work correctly. We'll put everything at 12 o'clock. Let me just double check that I did that with my foot. Okay. Sometimes you have better precision there with the hand. So let's go ahead again for our reference. This is our clean tone. Kick on the unit. You can hear that, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, that boing at the end of the, um, uh, delay there. It's like a delayed boing. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that on the, uh, speakers or not. But uh, here's how the unit sounds. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play real quick. Uh, the same riff, I'm going to just go ahead and play this. And variations of that as I make changes with my foot uh, to the unit. Here we go. is everything maxed out on the unit at this point in time. Hard to play while I'm making the changes with my foot, let me tell you. Uh, let me go ahead and blend the majority of this out. This can go from 100% dry to 100% wet, as you heard. And I'm going to go ahead and tweak, I think that is our tone knob right there. Yeah. So, tone knob closed all the way. Slowly opening it. Turn knob is open the entire way. And this controller on the right is our reverb. Turn down all of the way now.
and you can hear that uh, our boing is less pronounced still there. Let's go ahead and put our tone at, say, noon. Okay. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is start blending in our reverb with our tone at noon. Our reverb is turned down the whole way. Our blend is up the whole way. And I'm going to go ahead and start bringing in that reverb. all the reverb that we have and let's go ahead and max everything on the unit one more time now how does this unit do with pedals well let's go ahead and kick on our flower rig 5 whoa that's a good bit of volume and we'll kick on our plexi side as well I gotta turn this down. That is way too loud for me. I wonder why. Look at all that. So let's go ahead. This this is supposed to be like a surf verb. So let's go ahead and we'll get our uh Turn the fly rig off. Go ahead and get like our bravado type thing. So that is with everything maxed, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. That's turned up, and that is turned up, and that is turned up. We only have three knobs on this particular device. We have a tone knob, a reverb knob, and a blend knob. So with this wonderful Univibe type sound going on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play with our uh, reverb knob. I'm going to go ahead and put it down the entire way. Our tone is left up the whole way and our blend is left up the whole way. And let's see what we get now. <laughs> Okay, and we'll go ahead and put that reverb back up the whole way just so you can hear everything through this uh, iPad mic. I want to make sure that everything is able to be clearly heard through the, the microphone here. And so I tend to over exaggerate a little bit on the uh, on the effect just to make sure uh, that everything is heard. Um, I mean, what I, I kind of look at this and I say, what is the point of a review if people can't hear everything that's on the, um, you know, on the mic crack? So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to play with our tone knob. I'm going to put it at 12. 
yeah, 12. Let's see what we get now. Okay, and we will go ahead and uh, start with our blend control. I'm going to just go ahead and put uh, everything up the entire way. Uh, with the exemption of our blend controls, let's go ahead and bring that tone back up the whole way. And we'll put that, that uh, blend control... Uh, let's put the blend control at... Well, I tell you what. Take the blend control completely out. So the blend control's completely out. We're completely out of the picture. Okay? What I'm going to go ahead and do is just very slowly bring that blend control back in. Okay, our blend control... Let me just get get a reference point. Our blend control starts at about seven o'clock. Okay, so if I just very gently move that, so our blend control is now at about like eight. And you can hear that, you know, we we have uh, a, a little bit of reverb on tap already, which is pretty neat, if I do say so myself. Not enough, though, to do, like, the real splashy, surfy stuff. Anybody remember the surfy bear? Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, turn this up. Uh, we're now at about 10. <laughs> Here's a little bit more reverb, and, and we'll turn it up to about 11 here. And we're just going to turn it up to noon here. So here we are at about noon. And you can hear that we now have the perfect blend between clean and delay. I'm I'm sorry, clean and uh, wet reverb. And speaking of, let's see what happens real quick. Out of a genuine curiosity, now. I'm going to bring up our delay here. Yes, delay. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Let's slow our delay down here. That's kind of neat. So let's see how the pedal reacts to delay. So there's our delay, and I'll turn that off for right now. So now we're just back to the faux spring, and we're going to continue turning up this blend control. Okay. 
And that is all the reverb, all the tone, everything is maxed out on this pedal. So without our Univibe type deal, here's what we have. <laughs> Faux Spring